Hello and welcome! In this video, I'll be unboxing the Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo 64 controller, and Sega Mega Drive control pad. You may know the Mega Drive as the Genesis, depending on what region you're from, and I will also be comparing the new releases to the originals that I have. Um, we are going to start off with the Nintendo 64 controller. So, here we have the packaging, nice red uh, with a see-through window. Nothing on the spines, we do have Nintendo on the top there. And then on the back we have some information, so the contents is a USB-C charging cable as well as the Nintendo 64 controller itself. It also shows how to dock it, and you can also just charge it by plugging in to a wall socket if you have one. Uh, let's go ahead and open the tab up. No seals on these products. Okay, slide that out. Now with the other Nintendo Switch Online products, it is just a slip that's in there. It's not actually part of the box. Um, so, let's see. Okay, let's open it that way. And we have the cable in there. We have our instruction manual uh, in many different languages by the looks of it. Let's just focus on the English for now, so there we go, bit of a look through for that, and chuck that back in there, chuck that back in there, and let's chuck that back in there, and then we can move on to the controller itself. Okay, so it's inside of some plastic, let's move that out of the way. Now here we have the controller. I'm actually very surprised to see that with the joystick, they've gone with the original model joystick that they used on the uh, actual Nintendo 64 controller, and not the second iteration that they used. Uh, for those unfamiliar, the Nintendo 64 controller was prone to getting damaged joysticks, so then they brought out a newer type later on in the life cycle to try and add some longevity to it. So I'm not sure if this one will be exactly like the original one and get damaged, or if in the last 20 years they've improved technology and managed to get a joystick that will actually last a while, or perhaps they just think that you're not going to use this controller all that often, and therefore went with the original. It is yet to be seen, um, but comparing the two, this one's a second-hand one that I bought, quite dirty. Um, the D-pad seems to be different. This one kind of, I want to say, has a like more felt sort of feel to it, whereas that's just a shiny plastic. Um, the buttons themselves all look very similar. Same with the back, excluding, of course, the rumble pack slash memory card uh, slot being fully covered. On the back here, we have our home, our capture, some syncing buttons, ZR, charging, and we've got Z back there. So otherwise, for the most part, the same. Um, I'll put that back there now and move on to the Mega Drive controller. So here we have the front, side, other side, top has Nintendo on it, which is awesome, and there we have the back, so once again, this one just has a controller plus the charging cable. Let's go ahead and open it up. Slide that out. Okay. So, charging cable, instruction manual, have it. Awesome. And chuck that back in. Move that to the side. And let's get out the controller itself. Okay, so uh, for American viewers that are used to the uh, Genesis controllers with the six buttons, this would look quite different. Um, but for Australian viewers, well, gamers rather, it looks quite similar to 
the old school one. Uh, this one has some different colors on it, but I don't know if that's just different models of the same sort of thing, or if they've just added a bunch of colors on this one to make it more special. Otherwise, button placement looks to be the same. And this one, of course, has a few extras. Has a mode button, but nothing else on it, essentially. Uh, so definitely won't be able to play any of the other games with this one. Uh, but yeah, that is essentially it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of these controllers? Did you pick up any yourself or do you plan to? I know that they did sell out quite quickly. They got a restock. Don't know if they've resold out once again. Um, but yes, definitely a high, highly wanted item to, you know, get to play the old school games in the more authentic setting. Um, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, I do unboxings and video gameplay, and other than that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye!